New reporting tonight in the deadly attack on the family of a federal judge. Authorities say the suspect was found dead, and tonight, is he connected to another murder? Here's Stephanie Ramos. Tonight, authorities uncovering disturbing twists as they investigate the attack on New Jersey federal judge Esther Salas's family that left her only son dead and husband in the hospital. Law enforcement sources revealing suspect Roy Den Hollander is also being investigated in the killing of Mark Angelucci this month in California. Mark was an angel here on earth and he will be greatly missed. Sources say the gunman in Angelucci's killing was dressed similarly to Den Hollander, wearing a FedEx uniform when police say he opened fire on Salas's 20 year old son Daniel and husband Mark Anderl on Sunday. A 2015 case in which Den Hollander, a lawyer and self-described anti-feminist, represented the plaintiff was presided over by Judge Salas before another lawyer took over in June 2019. Authorities seen removing boxes from his New York City apartment. Sources say Den Hollander killed himself in upstate New York on Monday. The names of a dozen others were found in his car, including New York State Chief Judge Janet DeFiore. Two guns and cash were also found, sources say. North Brunswick's mayor, a Salas family friend, says the town is in shock. Every time I would ever speak with Mark about Daniel, Mark's eyes would light up. David, sources tell ABC News Den Hollander had been diagnosed with cancer. Officials are now investigating whether these attacks were grudge killings committed by someone who knew they were dying. David. Stephanie Ramos with us again tonight. Thanks, Steph. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.